I usually don't do match reviews for other games, but I thought I'd make an exception because, oh my god, I have never seen a worse Arsenal team in my life. I genuinely believe the Arsenal team that lost 6-0 to Chelsea was better than this. They showed a little bit of desire. Like, they, my god, the players on the pitch didn't seem like they were arse. Like, the ones on the bench, I saw Mustafi laughing in the first half, well, smiling. Uh, he, he looks as though he's going to be off to Inter, so, you know, he'll be saved from this crap uh, week in, week out. Um, you've got Sanchez after getting subbed off, uh, literally bursting out laughing on the bench. I think he's off as well. Like, my God, it, <laughs> I was expecting Europa League to be the killer for Arsenal this season. They haven't even fucking played it in their 16th. I know it's three games in, but you can't go and lose 4-0 to Liverpool. Uh, narrowly beat Leicester 4-3 and lose to Stoke. 1-0 in your first three games. <sighs> it, uh, Arsene Wenger will be facing the worst Arsenal fan TV storm of his entire uh, career. I know he won't watch it or whatever, but Jesus Christ, I cannot wait for Arsenal fan TV later. They are going to be livid. None of this bullshit giving up uh, kind of like depressed shite. It's going to be pure rage and fury. Lacazette and Ko uh, Kolasniak. However the hell you say it. I think I've said it right. But they were benched for this game. Um, Lacazette was brought on when it was already 3-0. Now, I know Arsenal were ridiculously poor. But uh, I'm a United fan. I hate Liverpool, obviously. But, I mean, you, you can't not praise them in this game. They were phenomenal. Uh, they were usual Liverpool. But they had a little bit of a defensive base. Uh, base? What the hell? <laughs> a little bit of a lisp there. No, base. Um, I'm not saying they defended great because they didn't have to. Like There, there was no Arsenal pressure. Uh, I mean from a corner, which is what they are terrible at defending at. They, they actually managed to score from defending a corner. So that's a little bit of an improvement from Liverpool. But, I mean, it's hard to see if their defence was really, you know, any better than it usually is because Arsenal was so shite. But, yeah, Liverpool absolutely dominant throughout. Like Arsenal didn't even have a shot on target. Uh, Liverpool get a goal pretty early on. They could have already had three at this point, uh, but Firmino uh, finally gets the the breakthrough for them. They they fully deserved that. And then the second goal is just it's just wonderful for Mane. Like he's the one player that I wish we'd have signed. Like Louis Van Gaal was uh, linked to him, and yeah, he he's just phenomenal. He's by far Liverpool's best player. Like no one comes close. Uh, brilliant finish from Mane, and then uh, Salah later on. Uh, manages to you know make it 3-0 wrap up the game in the second half and uh, just to rub salt in Arsenal's wounds uh, Daniel Sturridge of all people makes it 4-0 from the bench and doesn't even get injured in the process but um, the third goal is the one I'm on about where Liverpool defend a corner uh, they head it out Bellerin tries to kick it but Salah I think it's Chan and Mane are like bursting forward but uh, Salah manages to get the ball and literally just, you know, there's no one else. Bellerin loses the ball. Uh, Salah's got the entire half of the pitch to run into and it's a nice finish pass check. i got to say, Arsenal love calling Petr Cech agent check because of some of the mistakes he's wor uh, he's done for Arsenal. But in this game, if it wasn't for Cech, they, they would have lost this at least 6, if not 7 nil. Like... I just don't get it. Like, how 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 are Arsenal a top six side? Like, and yeah, they finished fifth last season, but the way they're going, especially if they lose, okay, Gibbs isn't huge. Uh, the Oxley Chamberlain, he'll be an improvement when he goes to Chelsea or Liverpool. He's a good player. He just doesn't work as a wing back in a uh, Wenger's three four three system that he's tried to adopt. Uh, Mustafi, that's another big one purely because they've got like limited defending options as it is, centre back options. And Sanchez, if they lose them, they'll be lucky to even finish seventh. Like with, with, with the, it's not the players. Well, it is the players. You you know what I mean. But like on paper, they've still got a, a decent side, like better than most Premier League teams, like certainly top six level. But it's just the fact they don't run. They don't try, they don't have any pride, any passion, anything whatsoever. They just look like a team who's given up. It's three games into the season, three games in, and they just look shite. The, this performance is the worst by far of, like, well, certainly this Premier League season, but the worst in, like, 
five years by any Premier League club, I think. Like, it literally was that bad. If you didn't watch it, you're missing out on a treat if you're a rival uh, to Arsenal. Like, oh my God. I just, I don't have the words to describe how shockingly shite they were. But uh, credit to Liverpool. Um, it, it does look at the minute, Spurs just drew against Burnley. Again, it's only three games in, so a lot can happen. Yeah, things can change. It, it, there's only been a possible nine points to win. Manchester United being the only team who've won at night. Uh, don't worry, that, that was a joke, yeah. It's only three games in, I know. Uh, but at the minute, the top four does look as though it's going to finish in any order, whatever you think. Man United, Man City, uh, Liverpool and Chelsea. Chelsea got demolished in their first game, but the next two games they've looked very, very solid. They've built on that. They've got a clean sheet against Everton, uh, who are, well, they were flying this season. Not pummeling teams but you know getting the narrow wins that they needed but uh, Chelsea held them back and uh, won 2-0 so at the minute it does look as though that will be the top four uh, with Arsenal coming absolutely nowhere near uh, Spurs struggling at Wembley again drawing 1-1 to Burnley <sighs> Chris Wood uh, obviously new signing from Leeds getting equaliser there and um, Everton I, I just think they lack that firepower but I genuinely I think I've got my Premier League prediction coming out uh, as soon as the transfer window ends. But at the minute, I think I'm going to put Everton ahead of Arsenal. Like, <sighs> Arsenal just look absolutely shambolic. Uh, 